Hello, and welcome to a Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate crack pack Today, I will be opening this draft booster, reading every card inside, and then making a pack one, pick one, and two, as though I were in a draft. If you would like to skip ahead to see the entire pack contents and my picks, I'll be including timestamps below. But otherwise, let's get cozy and appreciate every single card in this pack. Murder. One black black. Instant. Common. Destroy target creature. Pave your path to the throne. With yet another body, if you must, Saravak, it will make your stolen godhood no less false. Orion, wise mentor. Goliath Paladin. Four white. Four three six. Creature. Giant Knight. Common. Vigilance. When Goliath Paladin enters the battlefield, you take the initiative. Why do you cower in the darkness, little gnolls? If you would challenge me, step into the light. Stirring Bard. Three red for a zero four creature. Dragon Bard. Common. Defender. When Stirring Bard enters the battlefield, you take the initiative. Mantle of Inspiration. Tap. Target creature gains menace and haste until end of turn. At the first sign of danger, she breaks out the power cords. Carefree Swine Master. Two green for a 1 4 creature. Gnome Ranger. Common. Whenever Carefree Swine Master attacks, you may pay one and a green. If you do, create a 2 2 green boar creature token that's tapped and attacking. Come on, Bootigan. Let's go see what kind of treasure this place has. Aw, oh, that's so cute. Pig is all covered in flowers. Whoa. Contact other plane. Three blue for an instant. Common. Roll a d20. One through nine. Draw two cards. Ten through nineteen. Cry two, then draw two cards. Twenty. Scry three, then draw three cards. Cloak of the Bat. Two for an artifact equipment, common. Equipped creature has flying and haste. Equip, two. How about the power of silent flight? Does that suit your needs, cutthroat? Rivalin, black-hand proprietor of sorceress sundries. Target 
charcoal diamond. Two for an artifact, common. Charcoal diamond enters the battlefield tapped. Tap, add black. Every facet, a portent of Kelimvor's inevitable judgment. Navigation orb. Three, for an artifact, common. Two, tap, sacrifice navigation orb. Search your library for up to two basic land cards and or gate cards. Reveal those cards, put one onto the battlefield tapped and the other into your hand, then shuffle. Travel the world without ever leaving the comfort of home. Colossal Badger 5. Green For a 6-5 creature, badger, common With adventure, dig deep one green sorcery and adventure. Choose target creature. Mill four cards. Then put a plus one plus one counter on that creature for each creature card milled this way. When Colossal Badger enters the battlefield, you gain three life. Rip through enough dirt and you'll eventually hit something edible. Worms Crossing Patrol White for a 1-1 one, one creature, human soldier, common, myriad. Clockwork Fox. Three for a three two. Artifact creature Fox common. When Clockwork Fox leaves the battlefield, you draw two cards and each opponent draws a card. It might just be my greatest invention yet. A lovable pet that decreases the need for chores. Jan Jansen. Oh, this one's also really cute. It's got a little watering can. Oh. Poison the blade. One green instant common. Target creature gains death touch until end of turn. Draw a card. Breath of Basilisk, Sting of Scorpion, or Medusa's Tears. All may be distilled for a price. Stunning Strike. Two blue, enchantment, aura, common. Flash, enchant creature. When stunning strike enters the battlefield, tap enchanted creature and remove it from combat. As long as enchanted creature isn't legendary, it doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. Bane's Contingency One blue blue instant Uncommon Counter target spell If that spell targets a commander you control, instead counter that spell, scry two, then draw a card. 
my whims dictate the fate of nations. Your pitiful mortal magic is no more significant than a gnat buzzing in my ear. Beckoning Will-O-Wisp Two white for a one-three creature spirit uncommon flying lure the unwary at the beginning of combat on your turn choose an opponent creatures attacking the last chosen player get plus one plus zero follow the light at your own risk Oh, cool. So I'm sure I'm going to butcher this, but... Rasad in Basher. Two white for a zero three legendary creature, human monk. Uncommon. Each creature you control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness, rather than its power. Whenever Rasad in Basher attacks, if you have the initiative, double the toughness of each creature you control until end of turn. Choose a background. Kadira, Collar of the Small. One, green white, for a 3 3 legendary creature, orc ranger, uncommon. Trample. Whenever Kadira, Collar of the Small, deals combat damage to a player, for each token you control, create a 1 1 white. Rabbit creature token. She roams the border between wilderness and civilization, protecting those who need it most. Inspiring leader. Two white. For a legendary enchantment background, uncommon. Commander creatures you own have creature tokens you control. Get plus two, plus two. Your family needed a farmer, so you tilled. Your town needed a fighter, so you trained. When your people needed a leader, you knew what you had to do. And our rare Horn of Valhalla One white artifact equipment rare These guards call X white white Sorcery Adventure Create X11 White Soldier Creature Tokens Equipped Creature gets plus one plus one for each creature you control. Equip three. We have a foil Predatory Impetus, four green, for an enchantment, aura common, enchant creature, enchanted creature gets plus three, plus three, must be blocked if able, and is goaded.
and a devil token. All right, so here's our pack. This is actually my first time opening any Commander Legends pack, so I haven't had really any experience doing this before. But I'm kind of feeling like if this was our first pick overall, we probably want to look at our Legends and try to nail down what the color identity of this deck is going to be as early as possible so that we don't waste picks on colors that we can't use. So it is interesting, we did get a white legend and a white background, though that does seem a little bit risky. Um, we could take both of these, but then we'd be locked into a mono white deck. I think if you're able to have a background, you probably want it to be a different color than your commander so that you can get access to as many colors as possible in your deck. I do like this Kadira. Um, it's a 3-3 three, three for 3, which is a pretty good deal. It has Trample and also creates more creatures. And sort of a wide token stack is something that I would be interested in trying to build. We also have this Horn of Valhalla, which looks like it would be really good in a tokens go wide strategy deck. The Carefree Swine Master can also create tokens. But I think I'd be happy picking up a rare and a potential commander here. So I think I'll take those and then shuffle up the remaining cards and lay them out for the next player.
And there we have it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun exploring my first Commander Legends pack. Let me know in the comments down below what your first two picks would have been from this pack. I'm really curious to know, especially having so little experience drafting this set. If you liked this video, please make sure you subscribe and come back every Monday for a Crack-A-Pack and every Friday for different types of Magic the Gathering ASMR videos. I've been doing things like opening some specialty packs like collector boosters, unboxing secret layers, doing tours of my EDH decks, and things like that. As always, thank you so much for watching. I so so appreciate the support, and I hope you have a wonderful day.